In this video, you're going to learn how to transform your voice into any voice you want. So it sounds completely different. To transform my voice, we're going to be using Eleven Labs. You can find a link in the description down below, but it's known as one of the most popular text-to-speech tools out there today, with its most famous voice being Adam. Join the Discord, link below. But they don't just do text-to-speech. Their text-to-speech tool actually has a cousin called Speech-to-Speech, -speech, which allows you to generate AI voices, not from text, but you guessed it, from speech. And speech-to-speech -speech is incredible for many different reasons. The biggest problem with text-to-speech was getting the AI to deliver the audio exactly how you wanted it, with the correct intonation, the correct cadence, the speed, the emotion, and it becomes quite tricky when you really want something specific. But with speech-to-speech, -speech, you can get the perfect delivery every time. You get the right cadence, you get the right pause, you get the inflection you want, because you're the one telling it exactly how to do it with your voice. So you get the perfect voiceover every time. Take a listen to these two. What sounds better? Hey, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks. Hey, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks. Now, if you click on the link in the description and then you click on products and then you click on speech to speech, you can actually try it for free without even having to sign up. However, I do highly recommend signing up because you have way more flexibility in terms of creativity and there's still a free plan when you have an account. And when you do, you'll be on this page. To transform our voice into another, we're going to click on speech to speech and this is essentially Eleven Labs voice converter tool. First of all, we've got the language model. I always recommend sticking with Eleven Multilingual V2. It supports 29 different languages and it's their latest model. Up until a few months ago, they only had Eleven English V2, but now they've got Eleven Multilingual V2 why not use the latest version, right? And if you do happen in some instances to get bad results or it sounds like it's trying to switch accents when you use Multilingual V2, try using the English V2 model, but that only works if you are trying to have an English voice. If you want other voices in French, Korean, Portuguese, whatever you want, 11 Multilingual V2. And I always just stick with this one even when I'm doing English anyway. Next, we've got the voice, the actual voice that we want to sound like. So here we've got 48, at the time of this recording, different pre-made voices that Eleven Labs gives you. Then we've also got the possibility to go and add a voice from the voice community library, or we can actually use one of our own clone voices, but that's for an entirely another video. And to show you some of the voices, you've actually got Arnold that sounds like, have you joined the Discord? And then if we scroll down, we actually have Liam that sounds like, have you subscribed to the YouTube channel? And I don't know if this is a coincidence, but you know, very similar. But I'm just gonna stick with the good old classic Adam voice. And then next we have the voice settings, and this is where it can get a little bit technical, but don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through everything. But these four different settings are actually super important uh, for the outcome of the speech-to-speech -to -speech tool. First, we've got stability. So this setting determines the randomness between each generation. Lowering the stability is going to get us a broader emotional range to the voice, making the performance more emotive. And then if we bring it up and we make this high, so more stable, the outcome is then gonna be more monotonous and monotonous, monotonous, I never know how to say that, and consistent with less emotion. And I actually like bringing this down quite low. Sometimes you get some really good results, but sometimes you get some really crazy ones. As you can see, Eleven Labs actually recommend staying out of this red zone, or they don't recommend it, but they say it's gonna be unstable. So sitting around 30 is often quite good. Next, we've got clarity plus similarity. So this slider dictates how closely the AI is going to adhere to the original voice. A higher similarity setting might reproduce the audio more faithfully, but it can also then amplify artifacts that you didn't want that are present in the original recording. So if the recording you give to Eleven Labs isn't that good and you're getting some weird noises, try turning this one down just a little bit. Be careful because obviously lowering the similarity too much can result in the voice deviating too far from the original. So I recommend keeping this at around 70%. Then below this we have style exaggeration. This setting aims to amplify the style of the original speaker. Using this setting makes the generation take a little bit longer and it can also make the output more unstable. So I tend to just leave this one at none. Even Eleven Labs actually recommends to keep this setting at zero unless you're really trying to get something unique. And then finally, we've got speaker boost. This one is quite self-explanatory. It boosts the similarity to the original speaker. And again, this one also increases the latency in terms of the generation. And the difference it makes is really subtle. Let me know in the comments if you can actually hear a difference when using speaker boost, because I can't. And so now that you know what all of these four settings do, I highly recommend just kind of playing around with them when you are doing your generations, because different combinations can get you different results. And the more familiar you are with these settings, the more you'll be able to get the exact audio you want. And then finally down here, we've got this little box where we can either upload an audio file or 
we can record straight into 11 labs. And just before I show you the results, remember that the better the audio recording, the better the output is going to be. And be creative with it because 11 labs will be capturing the pacing, the delivery, the intonation, the inflections, emotion, and all of that. So let me just swoop my mic in and I'm just gonna record straight into 11 labs and I'm gonna make it quite unique. Hello everybody. Today, I wanna to be talking about skateboarding. Skateboarding is amazing. When you do a kickflip, it feels so good. So that is my recording, okay? And now, with all the settings that we've kind of just put in place, and I've got Adam, right? I am going to go down and I'm just gonna click generate. Hello everybody. Today, I wanna to be talking about skateboarding. Skateboarding is amazing. When you do a kickflip, it feels so good. So as you can see, 11 Labs has made it sound completely different, but it's kept the original delivery of the recording. And just to show you how good it is, let's say I copied this text, right? And then we went text to speech and then I just pasted it. Same settings, same voice, and we click generate. Hello, everybody. Today, I want to be talking about skateboarding. Skateboarding is amazing. When you do a kickflip, it feels so good. As you can see, it sounds very robotic and there's not as much emotion. Whereas here, hello, everybody. Today, I want to be talking about skateboarding. Skateboarding is amazing. When you it sticks to the exact delivery I had. Now, let's say we make this super unstable, go back to speech to speech, and then I'm just going to record something again. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, please do so because it would help me out massively. So what I just recorded would be very difficult to replicate with a text-to-speech tool. But now if we generate this, let's take a listen. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, please do so because it would help me out massively. And now just for fun, let's just change the voice to Dorothy, generate. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, please do so because it would help me out massively. Now, obviously that was a female pre-made voice, but because I am male, it struggles to switch. So if I did a little bit of an accent, and that's what's cool, you can like kind of do a little bit of voice acting, I could delete this and I would go record audio. Hello everybody, today I'm going to go for a run. Okay, and then generate again. Hello everybody, today I'm going to go for a run. Now I sound more like a woman because I made myself sound like a woman in the original recording. That's how to transform and convert your voice using 11 Labs. Thanks for watching, subscribe, bye.